Hi, hello, hello everyone. Today's the second string I'm making, so I'm gonna keep it simple. It's not gonna be too long. Last time I really got uh, my throat sore, so I'll keep it calm and I'll keep it short this time. So, first thing I, want, I wanted to talk about was uh, Frog on Encore, because as you said yesterday, as you saw, the, the game is gonna have its release date Okay, sorry. <coughs> I'm really not used to this. Sorry. Anyway, uh, Frog on Anchor will have its release day announced pretty soon. It's in the Guerrilla Collective stream, which is coming this Thursday. Top Hat Studio has a, a, a showcase in it, and it's gonna show a lot of other cool games like Copa Magica. So I, I hope you all take a look at it because. I definitely will be hyping it up for the, all the other games too. So that makes the, the first thing I wanted to talk about. It was really short, as you also. But I'm really excited about it because it's been such a long development time. A lot of it has been polishing it, um, making sure everything works, and even now I'm still fixing little things. Um, I'm pretty sure there will be a day one patch with some minor stuff and minor fixes, but uh, honestly, I'm very relieved about all of this time working on polishing and fixing because, as you probably remember, the first the first Fragan had a lot of bugs when it released and it was hard to to fix all of that and in time and without making the experience of any player in the meantime harder so this time it will come in a better shape it, it will be easier to get it right and even though it's been hard work uh, i think uh, everyone involved will be happy about it hi friend hi little nawaya really happy to see you here as you can see here Little Guayan, he's a very big, good friend of mine. The other friend I have here, and actually it's pretty good that you're here, man, because I'm gonna model you your little guy later. It's it's amazing, actually. Uh, for any, anyone who doesn't know him, Little Guayan is the, the dad behind Combustion, which is another project that has been on the world for a long time, and it looks amazing. Hi, Diga! Oh, and of course, I just is here too. That's that's amazing, actually. Really happy to see you all here. Hi, Brandt! Brandt is also working in a pretty cool game, which is a really fast platformer, platformer with both Sonic and Rayman inspirations, which is also something you should check out. So, I want to talk... <laughs> yes, you! <laughs> I, I want to talk about Little Norwegian for a bit because it, when I wanted to start streaming and I wasn't really feeling very sure about it, um, you know I'm a really shy person, I'm not very confident in my own voice and my own way of talking. Um, he was one of, of the very close friends that helped me and, and convinced me that I should just jump in. Um, I want to, to thank all of them uh, in the first streams because uh, without their help I wouldn't be doing any, any of this. So I will work on some little models, very small ones, very simple ones, to try and mimic the style of Sonic Air, which is a, a all racing game I love. It was very cheap on a supermarket when I was younger and I bought it because I didn't have much money I, I had a blast with it for months even though you can uh, probably complete it in like half an hour without even speed running but I don't know I just think it's a really cool neat old game um, and it looks great actually for this time at least it was originally a Sega Saturn game so that's one of the things we are going to do today. Probably the biggest one. Anyway, coming back to Little Williams, he's working on Combustion. You should check that game out because it's 
amazing. It looks amazing. It has a pretty deep story. He's working real hard on it. And I'm even helping a little bit making a, a mini game for it. So <laughs> there's something more to look forward in it. So thank you. I want to thank also the, the other friends that pressed me to, to make streams. Because there's also Shades, who full disclosure works on other games and he's the most wholesome person you will meet which sounds funny but it's completely true and he also helped me a lot he, he also streams he has very small streams which is criminal because he deserves a lot more of eyes on his work and um, I'm gonna model him too probably next stream then here's then there's Dupe. Dupe has helped me a lot. You all know him. He is hitting it up lately like crazy. Much deserved. He has an amount of energy I haven't seen in anyone else. It's like an, an ending machine. I, I don't understand. I'm so jealous, but I uh, I look up to him so much. And finally, there's also Gandalf Queen. She has helped me a lot. She's a very strong person. And she's <laughs> she's really funny, she has a lot of different versions of her own avatar for her streams and there is always something new with her, she's always working on something new really looking up to all of them, all of you for friends because I don't have many friends, I have, I have never had a lot of friends, I'm not the extroverted kind of guy and so I value it a lot, really so, no more sentimental edge pitches and let's just model a bit, okay? As you can see, here I have the, the Sonic Air Sonic model. I just downloaded it from Modeler Resource because it's, it's a really useful page. You can download yeah, it's, it's the Mario, it's the, it's the jumping guy. Looks a bit weird here today, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Crash Mario Cult. So, uh, I just downloaded this one because I wanted to make sure I understand the, the models and how complex or simple they are and everything, because even if it's something as simple as this, it's very easy to, to get it wrong even if it has little box hands you know, it's very tempting to, to make them more detailed I, I really will want to make them more detailed to bake some textures on it, to paint the fingers but I'm seeing that they don't have anything like that in the model it's just a popsicle also for some reason the arms are not symmetrical I had never noticed that Probably that's because of some weird hardware limitation back in the Sega Saturn times. So, yeah, anyway, it's a, it's a really simple model. It has a lot of its UVs just scrunkled together in, in a small square for a flat color. Which is fine by me. It's a really cool shortcut I sometimes use. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a reference here Here's the boy, the raccoon boy Hey, that's a really cool ringtone to have. You know this song? I have in my mind, like on loop intermittently, since I was little. Because I really sucked at the Chocobo Racing minigame, at the vets. And so I heard it like thousands, up, up, upon thousands of times before I got anything useful out of it. So uh, it carved its way in, in, into my school. It cannot live now. I think I'm gonna start with a cube because it's always the 
the safest bet against him it just has a couple of asset divisions so nothing much nothing very complicated so far also I'm sorry if I take a little bit uh, finding the, the buttons because I'm so used to to Blender 2.79 and everything changes with the newer the newer versions and I am so hung up on the old shortcuts and the old buttons. Let's see. Smooth part is okay. Here we go. I've actually been using Blender 279 this morning for some contract work, so it's even harder for me right now. <laughs> I have to, to switch cartridge in my mind, if that makes sense. But believe it or not, I'm using this one a lot too lately. Oh, interesting. Sony has the, the most basic topology here so you can probably just bevel this yeah something like this seems right Now, since he's wearing a, a suit, a really fancy one, I'm gonna do, do this. Yeah, this sounds like a swing. This looks like a suit. Legs are just a triangle, triangle prism, and it's pretty calm like this. It feels so weird to me when models are made out of little parts like this because I always want to just make everything a single mesh and it just cannot always be Hey, you know I, I'm not cartridge budget actually I am an, an old Prinko CD, you know the ones you could buy in a bulk in a huge tower, the cheap ones, that's me. Hi Black! Wait, did the music stop? I don't know why. 
Okay, random stuff stopping, stopping to work because I don't know why a simple YouTube list just pauses. Anyway, wow, even the socks are a triangle. Let's try to to come up with a cool design for for his shoes because honestly he deserves everything as cool as possible. I think I'm gonna rotate a bit the leg to make it fit better with with the Sonic reference. We are not aiming for an exact replica because if that was the case we will just modify the Sonic model. We are just trying to, to come up with something similar or at least something that feels similar. They really made this work somehow. Hi, Trimpa Studio. We are working on some Sonic R style models. And as you can see, I'm having the, the original model right here as a reference, but we are not just copying it, we are just eyeballing, because I think that's fun and eventually the model will turn out more interesting that way. another face here cool. Cool, cool. I think that's about right The arms are actually as simple as the legs, so I'm just gonna copy it. Gonna make it a little bit bigger because suit. Actually, I'm gonna strengthen it a bit. Yeah, something like this. And actually, since you bring a suit, I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. Yeah. I'm gonna make it this way. Yeah. 
Yeah, this this looks about right. I think that's fine. It's it's just for fun, mostly, to to say thanks to all of the friends that helped me when I didn't know how to even start streaming and 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 they cheer me on and I don't know. I think it would be fitting to to just make them in, in a different style for a bit. Actually, Gander Queen told me that it's possible to, to mod Sonic R with, with custom models, so when they are done, I'm gonna probably try, but I don't know if that will be possible or not. We'll just see. I think it would be a, a good moment to make it symmetrical. All right. Now hands, which are notoriously easy in this style. Obstacles. Yeah, that's. That's no, the head. That's, this is a tricky one because it's really big. So you cannot mess it up. Actually. Let's see how it looks. I can probably get away with another subdivide cube. Yeah, something uh, like this. So it's more like a cylinder than, than a cube. Yeah, it has like this part. Yeah, something like this, I think. go with this one. Hey, texturing is actually pretty hard, so it's it's one of the first big hunts someone has to overcome when making models. I know for, for the longest time I didn't know how to properly ungrab models, so I just used vertex colors. <laughs> And eventually you just have to, to jump and, and make really shitty UV and grabs and really shitty textures because as, as the, the mother memes say, I may be cringe but I'm free. Like just, just do it, even if it looks weird to you, even if you are not comfortable with it, it, it will be okay on your third one or so. I'm sure you'll got you'll get it right. If there's something I have learned is that 
there is a lot of people with a lot of talent everywhere and even those who who say that they are not as talented and that they cannot do stuff they eventually make great artists there is a lot of people out there that when like oh my god you are so great artist you are so i'm not and they are really great artists now like there is so many people that have made a huge career at art and I've seen the whole thing from the beginning and I don't know, I think it's a cool thing to see No, there is a little bit of of nose here and some that in the, up the top. So let's just start with that. For this kind of thing, I always like to extrude just a little part and then merge the the seams at the bottom or at the side. So I have a little step in the middle. Yeah, something like this will work. It's not exactly the same as Sony, but I think it's a more fitting shape. Let's make the side tapped. Now, I know this is horrible topology. We're gonna fix it quickly. Yeah, I think this one is about right. Makes everything rounder too. Now let's get rid of the pentagons in here. This flows better. Alright, that already looks like a raccoon. High five. Okay, no ears. How are they in Sonic's case? They come in the same model, they are just a big triangle. We're going to do something similar. They probably come from a little bit further in the back. Yeah. I think this works. Now this should probably be a bit thinner and move 
to the front. Probably this way. Hey, I think it's working pretty well so far. Doesn't look too out of place. It's probably the the clothes will have just a texture, and I think we can go to the the top on the top of the head. Something like this. But actually, let's just make it as a different model. Yeah. We're probably going to merge a lot of stuff after the model has been finished because one of the limitations the, the mirror modifier has is that you have to have vertexes in the middle and it will work as a single triangle better but we can do that with the mirror modifier without a lot of weird overlaps so we'll just have it like this for now. Yeah, how's that? Now, texturing will probably require a little bit of setup. Let's actually start by ungrapping it first. It's probably gonna be easier. I'm thinking the shoes could have a, a cool, unique texture with a tie on them or something. That would probably be cool. Uh, actually, you know what? We completely forgot the tail. That is a very important part. We're just gonna make it like this. There we go. Probably point here.
you know, game development is really hard. So, hey, thank you, Sato. Game development really is hard. So I, I really feel when, when anyone is having a hard time with their, with their project. I don't know the details. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say I do, I'm not gonna fake it, but then everything is getting crazier lately. I don't know if it's just me, but it's not an easy thing to do, making games, and it's getting harder, even though technology should make it easier lately. No, for texturing, most of the model will probably be flat shading. But I think in the front of the body we'll have a texture. Now obviously the eyes too. And actually, I think the nose will be modeled too, not just painted on. Yeah, something like this. Maybe even this to save some polygons. So, of course, the eyes are gonna take out of this space and the tail is probably going to have a texture too and probably the top of the shoes oh by the way since a few people have come in the middle of the stream and I'm gonna remind everyone uh, Frog and Encore's release date will be announced on this Thursday and the Guerrilla Collective Toy Hat Studio Showcase it always, it, It's going to be fun, it's going to have a lot of other games too not only uh, Frog and it's gonna have Papa Magica and all of the other Toy Hat games and also of course a lot of games that we don't even know about. So, is there any game you are looking forward to to be announced this year? I'm actually looking forward to the game announcement because even though I'm a game developer, I don't play as many video games as I would like because I'm working like most of the day and when I'm done, I'm incredibly tired. And also coming from, from a family that didn't have a lot of money, I always feel a bit guilty about buying games 
but also I don't want to pirate anything because I know how much work is behind every game. So I always end up like not playing as many games as I would like, which is a bit weird. Um, I would like to change that now that I have some economic stability and I know that I'm trying to stream and to do some more things outside of work. So always feel free to, to recommend any game in the chat. I don't know how many I can try, but it's always good to have some ideas. Now, as you can see about the textures, we have some islands and they might look a bit weird, a bit distorted because that's actually the, the shape they should have. But I think we will be okay with some stretching just to get the the, the Sonic Air vibes just like in the original game because the textures are a bit stretched in that game. They're very blocky. Um, and they actually use texture stretching as a tool rather than than just an artifact that they want to get rid of. Which is something really cool. I I love when people do something like that because we all face problems every day and not only solving them but using them on your on your own benefit. I think it's the coolest shit ever. Oh, I never heard about Crypt Master. Oh, Dungeon Crawler. I love some Dungeon Crawler games, but I'm really bad at them. I played a lot of Dungeons of Dreadmore back in the day. Populous, I don't think I would like because I'm not big on RTS. I played a lot of uh, Age of Empires 2 back in the day when I didn't even have a computer. I went to a cyber cafe. Um, and played there. I didn't even know what the genre was. Um, I always lost because I I just overbuilt. For me, the game was building, and I didn't know any strategy. Oh, I know when, when a game is so hard that you get because you are angry at it, but you keep coming only to to die again. I play a lot of The Bending of Isaac and even for a bit I played Nuclear Throne which I'm completely unprepared for. I really <laughs> suck at it. Now I'm gonna make a, a texture of camera right now, real quick. And I'm gonna save it. Just so we can work with it. And I'm gonna make materials now for it. Now this is probably the the weirdest part of modern Blender. Because... Oh. Yeah, I think this one. And texture... Where is the texture? Oh yeah, it's saved in a different format. All right, here we go. Since the texture is empty, the whole thing looks black. But let's just paint on it for a bit.
Let's see. Toggle intestine here. All right. So, the, the textures in Sonic Air are made of blocks, and I find really funny that the whole the whole roster has the same texture. They are just clamped together like this, and I find funny that it's 32 by 32 blocks here. So we'll just use the same thing. Alright, this will be for the eyes. Actually, I think the eyes, yeah, they, it's made of four pieces that are a part of each other for some reason. So. We'll have four of them. We're gonna put them together because I cannot work just like they work back in today. I need to see what I'm doing. Nuclear throne is not only tricky, nuclear throne is downright cruel. Like anything can kill you in half a second. You cannot relax for for even a fraction of a second at any time during a, a nuclear throne game which is cool I think a lot of people are for it but I am a nervous person and I cannot thrive like that I cannot I cannot live constantly stressed something like this All right. All right, something like this could work for the eyes. Just the general shape. Also, I know there is some plugins that will make this a lot easier and faster, but I think the one I have is completely broken and out of out of order and I don't know someday I have to to get to it and and fix it and reinstall it let's see yeah this is the way it is all right I'm gonna modify this shape now too because it's it's not very fitting. Something like this. Yeah. 
I'm gonna also move it up a bit. Also, what's up with the music? Only having Persona 4 songs. Is it not on random? Not anymore. It's just recommending stuff to me. Okay, let's just leave it at that for now. I gotta figure that out for some time for a nice stream. It's looking, it's looking better. So I wish there was a way to to just switch between Blender and, and Asprite in in a stream because I had to change that manually and it's a bit of a pain. But eh, so so many things to learn. Next, let's work on the body. This one probably we can get away with something like this. Perhaps. Yeah, something like this. Something like this should work for now. And the flops are gonna be a bit tricky to draw. Let's see again how they are. Yeah. Something like this. I'm gonna make a, a steeper shadow underneath so it just doesn't look like an indent. gonna do this for the for the middle I'm gonna actually pick the color for the face again 
so you can get more accurate ones. Decent. I'm gonna move this a bit. start crunching pixels together so we don't get such a weird look hi xbop i know it's going to be kind of a slow stream but I think with the little experience I have so far, it's probably better if I stick to, to very simple things like this one. I just hope you are not getting bored of any or anything. already let's go to make the tail texture now as well as some darker blocks for the body for underneath How many rings? Only two. This whole thing we are gonna make her so darker. And the tail is gonna be pretty easy to ungrab. We'll just use the projection from view. And then we are gonna straighten it a bit. We don't need to worry about very exact UV and wrapping with this style. Alright, we have a tail now. I'm gonna make the nose use the darker color too. I think it, there is a lot of separation here be, be, below the eye shape, so I'm gonna modify this one. Yeah. 
is not exactly upgrade, but I think it will fit better the model. We can move this one a bit up. So it fits the shape again. Yeah, I think this is right. Let's work on the shoes next. I think we are almost ready with the model actually. Just a little few more details and, and we'll be ready. Now I'm thinking something cool will be to have like a tie around the sock. Probably making this a, li a little bit too big. Something like that. Actually, I should make it symmetrical. Alright, what's going on here? Why can't I just select this? I think this is a better shape. I'm gonna turn on pixel coordinates because it's off by default in newer Blender versions and for pixel art it's super important. Alright. So it's all right for size. Let's see. little border here a little bit of pillow shadowing 
which is usually not the best, but for this kind of cenital view, it can be alright. All right. And now everything else in the shoe becomes blue. And the underneath becomes the darker one. Alright, only got the face to work on now. Proportions are not exactly the same, but I think it should be okay. Sorry, I was aiming at the uh, separate model, the separate program. All right, so this probably should be a bit thinner and go down a bit. We can make the inside part of the ear dark too. make them pop a little bit more and let's just make the eyes now hey uh, that little Norwegian with his pants I adore those pants I wish I was as, as good at making pants <laughs> as you are man I tried a few times actually you know, I like the, the little pump battles. Alright. for this one separate eyes work better probably a bit bigger something like this yeah I think that's 
Probably a bit more separation in the middle. Something like this works for the eye, for the eye shine. And for a little bit of anti alias here. I try making pants. I try to to enter the fray. Sometimes it's a little bit hard because since uh, I'm not a native English speaker, I tend to to try to make things work as if they were in my own language. Um, and I'm tell you, Spanish works in a very different way than English. Like remarkably so. So I mix up stuff constantly. I make puns with things that have nothing to do with each other. With each other. But I think we are pretty much done with the model. Let's tweak some some material settings and see how it works with a normal shading, just like Sonic on the right. Let's see. All right. All roughness, so no reflections. Looks pretty similar to me. What do you think? A bit more pixelated and a bit less painterly, but I think it looks cool. Okay, so I think that covers most of what I wanted to do in, in this one stream. It's been almost an hour and a half which is longer than I thought I would be. Oh, thank you, Ayase. She's my love, everyone. It was really fun to make this one. And I think I'm gonna make the, the next three ones in the next streams. Probably one by stream, if I can, if time allows. I'm thinking probably next week will be the next one. I'm trying to stick to a single stream per week because I, I am still trying to reconcile it with the rest of my life and the rest of my schedule. But I think it's it's cool. It's, I think it's funny. I think it's fun. So I'm now going to, to change into the just chatting scene for a minute. Let's see. All right. I don't know what I'm doing. I 
Okay, anyway. Sorry, I think I have some shortcuts that are fighting with each other. I just closed a couple of windows without <laughs> wanting to do so. Yep. Alright, looking at you. So, it's been pretty fun today. It's been a chill time. I haven't talked as much as last time, but I think that's probably better because I am really not used to, to talking for, for such a long time. Um, I really get my throat strained really quickly. So I want to thank you everyone for coming here. We have been like 10 to, to 12 people at the time and I think that's honestly a lot considering it's my second stream ever and I just wanted to feel like I'm hanging out with some friends. So I'm really thankful for really, really thankful for you all to, to having come here. Even those of you that came and and couldn't just chat and just lurk it a bit, that's that's also sick. That's also like sitting at the couch. Thank you, Five. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now. At least on the stream. I'll still be pretty active on my social media on Twitter and TikTok and everywhere else because that's the life, <laughs> that's the time we're living in. Um, I'll be giving more news soon. Thanks, Brandt. Thank everyone. <laughs> it's been chill even if, if there's been some tech issues that I'll try to solve for the next one. Always learning. So thank you everyone. And see you next week.